Hi there. Now for this question then, we've got to solve this equation here, sine half x equals 0 0.8 for x between 0 and 360 degrees inclusive. So we start then by taking the inverse sine to both sides. So we therefore have that half x equals the inverse sine of 0 0.8. Now we've got an angle here then equals the inverse sine 0 0.8 and so we need to think about drawing a quadrant diagram or cast diagram. Remember this is zero degrees. We're looking for where the sine is positive and sine is positive in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant. So draw two lines equally inclined then to this horizontal line and mark in that those two angles there are exactly the same size. We've also got to adjust this range here. Remember that what we've got here is a half x. So I divide each of these three values by 2. So 0 divided by 2 is going to be 0 still. This is going to be less than or equal to x over 2 which is going to be less than or equal to 180. Okay, so we've got half x or x over 2 lies between 0 and 180 degrees inclusive. So that means that starting from here, turning anti-clockwise, we go to the first line here. This is a possible half x. And we've also got another one starting from here, turning anti-clockwise all the way around to here is another possible half x. So if you're unfamiliar with this, do check out the cast diagram or quadrant diagram in my tutorials. Okay, so using your calculator, make sure you're in degrees mode because we're operating in degrees here. You should find then that we get that a half x is equal to, and when you inverse sign this, you should find you get 53 point one three zero and so on degrees. So that means that this acute angle in here is the fifty three point one three zero and so on degrees. And that corresponds with that red half x. Okay, so that's your first solution. Then we want this green one. So you can see that because these two angles are the same, the green half x must be 180 degrees minus 53.130 and so on degrees. If you do that on your calculator, what you find you get is 126.869 and so on degrees. So that's the green half x. So all we need to do now is to get x is to multiply both sides by 2. And if you do that, you end up with x equaling, doubling this gives us 106.260 and so on degrees. Doubling this one gives us 253.739 and so on degrees. And it brings these angles into this range here, 0 to 360 degrees. Don't forget, we need to give these answers, say, to three significant figures. So x would be equal to 106 degrees. And for the other one, this would be 254 degrees. And I'll just say that both okay, are given to three significant figures. 3s, f for short. Okay.